Guys, Professor David here. I'm going to talk to you for a minute. Haven't spoken to you for a while on YouTube. Most of my motivational messages that I've been delivering, my motivational stuff and my stuff about moving forward and staying positive, I've been putting it on Instagram. So, you guys understand, I do my self-defense training. You know me for that. And I also do the coaching. I also got a coaching course for if you want to do group coaching. I have that available. Contact me. Let me speak. That, let me tell you about that because we do it. It's going to start on the 21st of this month and it's every weekend. So you get in the group Q&A. If you're interested in that, let me know. But this video right now is to talk to you about one thing. It's time for you to leave some people and some things that you're doing that's not serving you behind. Guys, 2024, how long are you going to continue to have people around you, habits that you are doing day in, day out, weekly and monthly that have not served you, you know it hasn't served you, and you continue to do it. You continue to do it because it feels comfortable, because nobody likes change. So because you don't like change, and because you don't want to feel the discomfort, you just continue to do it. But you cannot, guys, we're going into a new year. Some of you may need someone to help you. That's why I do the coaching. So get a coach to help you work through some of this stuff. Guys, if you are out there, you're one of those people that you've been drinking way too long or way too much, get rid of it. You don't need the alcohol to be accepted. You don't need alcohol to be accepted. If you're with a group of people and you feel like you have to drink in order to be cool, in order to be accepted, it's time for you to leave those people behind. Because down the big picture is, it's not serving you. It's maybe cool and funny to be a drunk or to get drunk at 20, maybe even at 30. But when you start to hit 40 and 50, mm, now nah, it takes on a different look. You women out there who are alcoholics, you girls like to drink. You know, no man, no man wants a woman who's an alcoholic who likes to drink. No man do that. He'll, he'll take you out. He'll keep buying you liquor because he want to take advantage of you. So he's going to soften you up. So if you think that that's something you want to continue to do down the line as you get older, that ain't going to serve you. You can't continue like that. People, if you got bad habits and you know you have habits that you are doing, you don't like it, it's not serving you. People out there, grow the hell up and get rid of them. Start to work on them. Get help if you need it. But drop the vices. Drop the alcohol. Drop the partying. Drop the drugs. Drop all of the nonsense you're doing just to be accepted. People don't accept you a certain way. Get rid of them. If you got weight on you, that you don't want to have on you, do something about it. And people are telling you, oh, you know, you look good that way. You're okay. You know, we don't, what's all that exercise? You don't need to exercise. You don't need to lose weight. Don't listen to them. Do not listen to them. Because they like you the way that you are. I had a friend of mine, I once told her, I said, the person you're with, they don't love the new you because they started to improve. They started to work out. They started to get their self in shape. They started to have a confidence. They used to be all quiet and shy and meek, but now they started to have a voice. And it was a clear before and after. And the person she was with, he didn't like the new person. He liked the old person. And some of you are with people like that. That they don't like the new you. They want the old you. Some of you are with people that refuse to grow. They just want to stay the same. And that's okay. If they want to stay the same, have a conversation with them. And if they don't want to do nothing about it, leave them behind. And I'm telling you,
you from experience. I was with someone that I was wanting to move forward. I kept moving forward. I kept looking towards the future. And they wanted to say the same. Why are you doing this? Why are you going after that? Why aren't you satisfied with this? What the hell is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with you? There is nothing wrong with wanting more. There is nothing wrong with wanting to do better. There is nothing wrong with wanting you, you to better your best. For you to be the best you. If somebody don't want you to be, want you to be the best you, get rid of them. And I'm telling you, some people need to go. Some people you need to cut them off. And you know what I'm talking about. And you know those people. You're thinking about them right now as you hear my voice. You know those people who have to go. So why don't you get some strength and get some courage and do what you got to do. You see, you got to love you enough to cut those people off. See, if you don't love you, you love them more than you love yourself, you keep them around. But if you love you, you get rid of them. Because you know they're not serving you. You know in the long run, it's not the best thing for you. So guys, listen to what I'm saying. If you think I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Leave the comments in there saying I'm wrong. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm telling you because I lived it. Okay? You need people who are going to be supportive. You don't need to ask people for permission. You need to ask them for support. If you got to keep asking for permission, can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do this? Can I, is it okay if I do Is it okay if I do that? No! No! To hell with that! Don't ask for permission. Ask for support. And if they don't support you, let them go! Leave your comments. Let me know. And if you need help, I will help you. You could talk. Get on our coaching program with the group, and we could all talk about it. You have like-minded people. Like-minded people were going through troubles and problems just like you, and we'll work it out. Thank you very much. To another.